Hey guys and welcome to my initial reaction review video on Spy X Family. As you know I have just started collecting manga and this was one that I picked up in my first ever manga haul. Okay so this is a shonen manga. It's been produced by Tatsuya Endo and it has been published by Viz and I absolutely love this manga. Currently the first volume has been released here in the UK and the second volume will be released fingers crossed in September 2020. One of the main reasons for picking up this manga is because, I mean, just look at this gorgeous cover. It's like it's got a sheen of gloss on it. It's beautiful and I think anybody walking past would be definitely intrigued by, you know, this, this figure who's holding onto a gun and we can see that he's hiding some of his effects below his chair and it's just, it's, it just sounds really uh, intriguing. Now, the story of this manga follows a top spy, Twilight, who is tasked with preventing a war from taking place by getting access to a dangerous individual named Donovan. However, this man is very secretive and the only way that Twilight can get access to him is through the school where Donovan's son attends. So Twilight is tasked to marry and have access to a child so that he can enroll that child into the same school that Donovan's son attends. And this way he can get closer to Donovan and start questioning him about his plans and this and this issue of war that may happen in the future. Now Twilight begins his search for a child at an orphanage and he adopts a young girl named Anya who is so cute and absolutely adorable. Um, she doesn't really look like she's mischievous or anything like the other children. Now unbeknown to Twilight this young girl is actually a telepath so she can read minds. And I think the early chapters are really enjoyable as we see the relationship between Anya and Twilight and it's really funny because whatever Twilight is thinking, Anya can of course read his mind and so she quickly finds out that Twilight is actually a spy and she thinks that being with a spy is so cool uh, and so you know if she gets adopted by Twilight the adventure that she's going to have is going to be incredible and that maybe she will become a spy one day as well. Now the other part of the deal was that Twilight had to find a wife as well. Now the twist to the story is that uh, Twilight crosses path with Yor, who on the outside seems like a harmless young lady, but actually she is a top assassin. And I think what's great about this manga is that the dynamic between Yor and Twilight is so refreshing and each person, Twilight and Yor, are both tiptoeing around their secret. Add Anya to the mix, who can read minds, um, and you've got you know, all of the ingredients for, an, for a great story. I'm a bit sad that the, only the first volume is out, um, but again, from what I've read so far, I think I'd give the story a solid 9 out of 10. It's refreshing, it's very different from most shonen jump manga, and I can't wait to pick up the next volume. Moving on to the art, uh, I do like the art style of Tatsuya. There, are, there is a lot of detail in his work, the, the expressions of the characters, the backgrounds, are not rushed um, and you know I think that all of these expressions and the, his artwork they come together to create such a fantastic story I don't feel like you know the artwork is over the top sometimes you do get artwork which is a, you know a little bit over the top now myself I'm not an artist so I can't really criticize anybody else's work but as for my own preference um, you know I would probably give the artwork a, a solid 8 out of 10 now as a package I have thoroughly enjoyed this volume and so I would give it a solid 8 out of 10 as a complete package. So the question is, would I recommend this manga to you? And the answer to that is a definite yes. For me, I think that this is a top shelf manga. I think this is a new series, one that you should definitely get, especially if you're into Shonen Jump and you're maybe looking for something quite different, something quite refreshing. I think that this is a definite pickup. Well, I think that's it for this initial reaction video. Leave a comment down below if you're thinking of picking up this manga or if you have this manga, leave a comment down below of your thoughts as I'd love to know what you think about this manga. Also, don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed this video and if you found this video helpful. Also, please subscribe to my channel so that you get a notification for when I upload new videos. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and stay safe.